Oh shit. No, why is it lagging? Why is it lagging? Hello? Okay. All right. No, stop lagging. Oh my God, dude. All right. Okay, they ain't starting off with no reveal. Re uh, no reveal. Okay. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Right, right. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters. Yes. 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer as three. Our entire team has worked really hard. With this Nintendo Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Wait, what? Already? I wish those dogs would be quiet outside, dude. Holy shit. I wish those dogs would shut up. What is this? Is Little Mac fucking up, Ken? Oh! Bring it on. Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! I think they're gonna get the fighters out first. Oh shit. Really out here throwing Hadoukens out on the fucking boxing ring? Wait, is that. Who the fuck is that? You can't just be out here throwing Hadoukens. He has his own special. Is he a. Yo, is he not an Echo? Holy shit. Can't be throwing Hadoukens out in the boxing ring, dude. Who is this running up? Incineroar? Incineroar <laughs> enters the ring, bro. So, you want to fight fire with fire, huh? Dude. They just went ham with the presentation, bro. Dude, I fucks with this. All right, I know some people didn't want Incineroar, bro, but I fucks with this. I don't care, dude. That was such a perfect way to intertwine his trailer. Oh my god! Oh my god! Damn, bro, that was two new fighters in one trailer. Okay. Damn. Oh shit, look at Villager. <laughs> Bowser Jr. Uh, yeah, Bowser Jr. fucking can't care rule. Oh man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. One, two. Bro, I'm not even gonna say Hailing nothing. from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Okay, he is an Echo, alright. In his original game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. <laughs> Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. <laughs> Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadoken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukeku strikes opponents multiple times. The little details that Hell matter. Wheel. Focus attack. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Ryuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shifu Jin Raiken. Damn. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Please stop lagging. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop lagging. Yeah. 
Incineroar joins the battle, bro. Now for our last new challenger, Incineroar. It may be a Pokemon, what? but it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is successful, it'll pose for the audience. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. That's good to know. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. He looks Perhaps really it's nice. something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. Damn, bro. This attack can be very effective, but if you mess up, it's easy to self-destruct, so be careful. Yeah. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button at just the right moment. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long, and you'll fail. Oh, Nail the timing, shit. and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Damn! He looks a little technical, to be its honest. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes uh, to the surface, it's powering a counter. up its next attack. That's Yo. Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. <laughs> and its final smash, Max Malicious Moonsault. That is a even faster and fiercer Dude, that is a sick ass baseball. special. The roster has been revealed. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. There aren't very many at first, but it is the same amount as the original Nintendo 64 game. And once you've unlocked them all, it'll look like this. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Okay. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74 fighters on the roster. Counting Pokemon trainers, one fighter. Okay. Amiibo. Oh, shit. Inkling. Yo, I don't even want to look at Twitter right now. Twitter's probably in fucking shambles right now, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Twitter's in shambles, bro. I know it is. <laughs> Inkling, Wolf. I mean, Inkling, Ridley, Wolf. Available on the set. Wait, they're available the day the game launches. Holy shit. You may recall there were oh, three shit. amiibo in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new amiibo figures. Oh, man. That's the fighters getting love. Gaming icons clash. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Brothers series is one massive crossover at heart, and we want to create something more. A way to enjoy characters other than fighters from a variety of video game worlds. Right? Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. And I don't mean the spooky kind. <laughs> to put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighter, powering them up in battle. Chibi Robo? That's just one of many. Imagination the meets Smash reality. Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. Oh, shit. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical form. All of them. Yo. The Yo, Tails. Unable to return to the Tails. <laughs> this is a Dude. Spirit. Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their power. Oh, shit. Not my nigga Judd and Knuckles and There's KK Slider wildly and Zero. Spirits. Even though he's an assist trophy. There Silver, no! Spirits. <laughs> Bruh. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones my are nigga, called aces. My and nigga some Silver, are in bro. a league of their own. Legend. Can we, like, get gameplay, though? Primary spirits? One primary spirit can be assigned at a time. Nigga, is that the... Yo. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. That looks like a, the slime from fucking Dragon Quest. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. Without the nipple on his head. It's head. 
Eso Support Spirits. Spirit has enough available slots. You can assign them Support Spirits. While Primary Spirits enhance fighter stats, Support Spirits lend them additional skills. Once the Primary hey. Spirit and Support Spirits are set, I your recognize that uh, character from Donkey Kong Country. Spirit battles. My fucking stomach's growling. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. You'll find a variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against the fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. That's cool. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, you'll battle against Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. That shit, that shit seems annoying. <clears throat> That's it, it just throws your ass. Okay. Nigger rule. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about spirits mode, to be honest with you. Because they're hedgehogs. <laughs> That dock skin is actually fire. Wait a minute. This is interesting. I'll say that. This is pretty interesting. Mm. Hit the puppet fighter to acquire the spirit within. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is strong against grab, grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. When you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before battle, so make sure to read them and form the right strategy. Bro, fuck this sun. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Or you can feed it snacks. Damn, that nigga is munching. <laughs> Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can yo. use by leveling them up. <laughs> Dixie's a spirit, yo. You oh can my also god. Send spirits back to the real world. While you do have to say yo. goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. <sighs> yo, I'm trying to imagine what Twitter looking like right now, bro. <laughs> you can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Oh man. Hey, my nigga Doc or Lewis. Send them off in search of treasure, which they'll bring back to you. These seem like unlikely teams of characters. Damn, Pearl and Marina. Team could be somebody's dream come true. 
training and exploring Damn, continue Dylan. to yield results, Yo. even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Sakurai ain't give a fuck about this. <coughs> Excuse me. Certain spirits are known as masters. <laughs> ain't give a fuck about any of these the characters, bro. Man, I got Spike. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple times. It's one great big collection of characters from many Hey, isn't that the Dark Mage or Dark Princess from are? Super Paper Mario? I just saw her. Final Smash Meter. Whenever you fight against a spirit, the final Smash Meter is enabled. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Hold on. Isn't that fucking special of Yoshi reminiscent of the opening from Melee? It was actually really cool. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other players who are using spirits. Mm. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully. What's up, uh, I, your name started with a T. In a two -on -two <laughs> I can't even fucking remember it that fast, my be. I just want to peep the chat for a second. Local wireless and online The play. game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. Okay. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. Online. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Preferred roles. For online battles, oh, you can set shit. your preferred rules. Yo, that's These so convenient. Pre-registered, so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. All right. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Global Smash Power. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. Whoa. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're Dang. judging for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. If you repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you could face a penalty, like being disconnected. So please don't do that. Damn! <laughs> As with any multiplayer game, a stable connection is very important. For this oh, reason, shit. the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. All right. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection. Get a possible. fucking Ethernet. This blue shit on my laptop. Get that shit. Get this. We prepared a variety of other features for local wireless and online battles. Get this. Get this, bro. Get Once your this. global smash power is high enough, you can enter. It saves power. lives, bro. Y'all have no idea. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on Fuck the back. Fuck Wi-Fi. You're good. Fuck this song. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention to the results of these elite battles. 
smash tags. Everyone who plays online needs their own smash tag. If you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can select short messages and send them before and after battle using the directional button. All right. You choose from a wide selection of various. Did that should say let's messages. smash again. <laughs> enjoy other modes as you wait. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes while you wait for the battle to begin. Like training. Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Okay. All right, cool. Got my answer. I got my question answered. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players battle. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. What? You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. Bruh. That's cool. When you want to play online, you can create music? a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. Oh no. Oh no! With the Nintendo Switch Online app, you can voice chat with others in uh. battle arenas. <laughs> It may become an essential tool for some players. Yeah. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, so we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Oh, Once okay. the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Bye. Cool. Cool. Next. I'd like to change topics and talk a little about the assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from? The <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo. Twitter is in shambles right now, bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yo. Yo. Oh my god. Here I go. I can't believe. I can't believe. <laughs> Yo, yo, I'm checking Twitter right now, bro. They showed Shadow. Then they showed. Um, <laughs> yo, I can't get on Twitter. I can't get on Twitter, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. Oh. Was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen, bro. I knew this was gonna happen. I just kept my mouth shut. I knew Sakura was gonna flip everybody's fucking re expectations, bro. These niggas got fooled by that Grinch leak, bro. Oh my goodness. These are my nice assist trophies. Isaac looks better too. He looks a lot cleaner. He got ga fucking guile, bro. <laughs> that was nothing. Isn't that nigga from Virtua Fighter? What the fuck? Bro, I'm actually scared with who else they gonna show off, bro. I'm really scared. I'm really scared with who else they gonna show off, bro. 
The total number of assist <sighs> okay. is now 59. Thank God, yo, Actually, crash is still a possibility, bro. <laughs> Yo, assist trophies who can be KO can <laughs> and Shantae. <laughs> we we good players. boys. <laughs> we that good, bro. Lose a point to the other player. Oh my god, yo. Oh my god, bro. I'd like to cover a variety of other Oh my lord, bro. If you want to review the controls or game mode, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to oh. check out. Oh my god. Oh my god, yo. This is why you Century shut the Smash fuck up about Smash veterans. before it comes it out, bro. Dead ass, man. Screen, doesn't it? You just you shut up, bro. Just be quiet. Stages. Oh, you shit. The music too. Dude. Uh, I feel so bad for everybody, bro. You had bro. to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode. But now, you uh. can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. That, that, yo, that had to hurt so many people, bro. You can save the replay data of your battles. And now, you can create videos with it. Yeah? Tips. There's also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Shout out to Amari that said they were going to reveal Complete Shadow before Crash and now this. Rewards. This time, each page is sorted by mm. category and the layout looks more like a comic book. <laughs> Press the button to check out Niggas are picture. fucking hurt Enjoy. right now, bro. Mm. The I, records menu tracks your battle. Bro, I can feel the disturbance in the force, bro. Options. Like. <laughs> Yo. So many niggas are hurt right now, bro. Like. <laughs> Yo. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Will Shadow be, be the new one? <laughs> yo, I don't know, yo. Gold can be exchanged for music The leak got Ken right, so the rest of DLC maybe? Mode. Yo, we don't know, bruh. If you're collecting music, this just confused everybody even more. You want, instead of just relying on challenges. This confused so many people, bruh. Options. Yo, what time you is it, bruh? the options menu by pressing the ZR button. Yo, it's 1028, all right? We still got... What? 22 minutes left, all right? We could get like two more fighters probably. This game supports 11 languages. I know just, this just, is very important just, to some of you. Just stay calm, bro. We'll be Gucci. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. Oh, that's so nice. The fighter names are also specific to each language. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they are no. Blame Warner. I be Dante. I'm not saying that. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Bow to me? Bow to me? Nigga, what? <laughs> Say no. Brightness and sound. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. Alright. We've implemented a radar that displays the locations of all fighters. You can change its settings, including size. Oh shit. Okay. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. Oh my god, bro. This really is the ultimate Smash Brothers, bro. It's this if little you're shit. against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Are they going to be you online? Customize your Mii fighters and change their outfits. Yo. In addition to the voice, I'm about to say, yo, stop showing costumes, bro. Choose from. <laughs> stop showing costumes, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> niggas about to have heart attacks and strokes. Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits. Oh no, bro, I'm scared. Yo. 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 That's a dope ass skin. I ain't gonna front. That look like Deadpool. What? What? Okay, those are fire. Those are real fire. Bruh. Oh my god. 
So many niggas are hurt right now, bro. So many niggas. I feel so bad for my niggas right now, bro. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is a crazy direct, all right. Oh, Nintendo Labo, nigga. Or you playing Nintendo? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, it is. What the fuck? The robot was on him. Anyway, there's something I should point out. Okay, what's up? As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find in the game. But... Yo! Let's get crashing! We're getting crashed! We're getting crashed! More coming post -launch. We're getting Crash Bandicoot in this game, bro. A huge roster of fighters, we're getting Crash Bandicoot in this Smash game, dog. Series, which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid DLC. We're, we're, we're getting Crash in here, yo. We gotta make. We Since gotta get him. We already in. included every fighter from the past games. That means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. Okay. And we're not talking about Echo fighters. All right. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter. One stage and yo. multiple music tracks. Yo, we gotta get crashing, yo. The price for each set is expected to be five ninety nine. Oh man. At the same time, we will offer the fighters pass. Wait a second, yo. I just That's thought about five something. Five fighters, five stages, and all of their music tracks. What? Hold on. When creating something like the fighters pass, ideally we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. I hope only those who are confident in its value will purchase it. Again, the price is $24.99 for all five sets. Now that we've finally confirmed the development of this DLC, please know that we'll be working really hard on it. Yo. Why are you looking at me like that? I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. <laughs> Me too! By the way, here's one purchase bonus you'll get with the fighter's pass. Wait, what? It's a me sword fighter outfit based on the Yo, stop doing this! We decided which fighters to include. Stop fucking doing this, man! Characters from titles like Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh my was announced after planning God! I hope this outfit will help you feel like you're playing. Yo! Oh my god. Including some music from the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Give it a listen at Gaur Plains. <gasps> oh no, bro! Will also appear as spirits. <laughs> We've yet to create oh any of the my god! DLC, and we haven't locked down any. How can we space, request characters? We'll start working on them as soon as Please we're Please tell us again. how do we request characters, bro? It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. Yo, we have so much time. But on a separate note, limited time offer. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Oh, man. Nigga, am I? Yo, did I seriously just say that? Did I? That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, and perform long-range attacks. This tricky character is full of surprises. Its final smash is TD Piranha, 
This nigga about to get banned. Well, let's just say it won't end well for you. He about to he, he, he about to get banned. Completion after the launch of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. Yo, this direct got me Later all today, types of fucked up, bro. Like, the game after finishing this Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Yo. I hope you'll go to Nintendo eShop or Nintendo.com before you forget. Yo. This before we go. It's 10:36, bro. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. What's up? On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Right. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next and more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. Okay. But before we go... Oh no. What happened on that fateful day? What? I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. Okay. That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. Alright. Later, Sakurai. Don't let a single one get away. Voice acting? Voice acting? Voice acting? Oh my god! That's... Nigga, what is that? Yo, that actually got me. We each need to take down about ten. So you're here. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. Oh shit! Yikes! 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 Bro! Yo, yeah! <laughs> oh my... Bruh. Yo, sh shaking my head, bro. Damn, Snake! Damn, did he? What the fuck was we fit doing? <laughs> Dude! Oh, nah. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, bro.
Super Smash Brothers Ultimate World of Light. <laughs> I'm not pissed off or angry, bruh. Okay, I'm not. That direct was good.